Okay, so this is uh, 3.1. At long last, we're going to be uh, tackling through vectors. Uh, they look a little intimidating, but honestly, it's not that of a big deal once you know the fundamentals. But it seems to be saying that for every section, so who knows, right? Anywho. Uh, anyways, uh, let's start with something easy. 3.1, uh, the first uh, th uh, three questions. So here, we're really, weren't really doing much. We're just identifying the vector based on the, uh, actually, I should probably mention this now. Um, I don't think she's going to really care all that much, but uh, um, but still, uh, it's nice to know the terminology. Uh, but, so, hmm. Oh yes, so we call this comma-limited form. Right? So, do I have a space to write? Yeah, so that is comma, Uh, yeah, D limited form. Yeah, so what, what does that mean, right? It just means like, you know, every time when you write it in this format, right? Like these coordinates, like that. So basically, that's what we call a comma delimited form. Eventually, well, we have to be able to uh, use both comma delimited form as well as column vector, a column vector, and that's something we're more familiar with linear algebra, right? So instead of like, let's say I had this, right? So it will be more like, uh, can you guys see here? Yeah, maybe I could write down x. So in this case, it will be x one. Well, okay, let's make it simple. X and y. 3, negative 4, right? Equal or, yeah. So something, so not a big deal, but you know, in case if she uh, uh, ends up being a lawyer to us, you know, we know what to expect, right? So nonetheless, um, yeah, so uh, let's see here. First question, basically you're just uh, finding the component of the vector, so not a huge deal. Um, let's say there's a vector here. The only important thing that you might want to watch out for is that you need to know what the final and the initial is. Mine is represented by 2. So 2 is the final, 1 is the initial, right? It's because we want to always put it in that specific order, final to initial, just like when we're calculating slope, right? So because of that, um, yeah, so because of that, um, so you have that ba ba ba. So the uh, I probably should have wrote down the first coordinate, but none of this. The first uh, initial is one five, right? That's the column delimited form, right? Example example, right? One five, and then the final destination is four one. So I just I subtracted the x's and the y's uh, together, and then so you get that, right? So not too difficult, right? X2, remember X2 and X1 are different points, right? Final, initial, final, initial. So make sure you subtract accordingly. But again, not a rocket science. B, similar idea. The only difference is now this is 3D. But again, it sounds intimidating, but all it just means it has one more dimension, right? So I just did exactly the same thing. You know? So not a huge deal, right? So, you know, uh, maybe I should... Uh, okay, so just to clarify... Uh, yeah, whatever, yeah, so that's the case, and then you have that, you know, again, final minus initial, right? So I tried to, if, you, uh, if just to get familiar with yourself, try to be maybe, you know? Uh, so quarter was from 304 to 044, so again, final minus initial, right? 0 minus 3, 4 minus 0, and 4 minus 4. So, but again, just something that you should take a look at you for a few seconds before you uh, venture further. So, uh, we're going to now go to number three. So this is, uh, again, similar idea. The only difference is now, actually, no, it's exactly the same idea. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, um, yeah, exactly. Yeah. The only, my, wait, wait, I think P is point, right? Oh, no, those are vectors. Okay. Yeah. So the only difference is rather than going from point to point, now we're going to go from vector to vector, right? So. Uh, because of that, it's going to be, uh, let's see here, P1 and P2. So this is uh, probably like vector 1. Oh, no, not vector. No, these are not vector. P1 and P2. These are still points. Okay, never mind. Yeah, I got a little confused there. So anyways, you know, similar idea. Sing, sing the similar song, right? P1 to 2 is going to be, see, 
see the direction? Two is the final and one is the initial, right? So make sure you subtract accordingly, right? So this guy's first, two minus three, eight minus five, done, right? Uh, and the three B, uh, same thing, three dimensional, but same idea, right? So two is the final, one is the initial, that's why arrow's pointing that way, so just subtract the same thing, and you get the, you get the answer. So, um, the side, the, um, we don't really have to do number four, so how about we try number five? It's a similar idea, but let's get into it. Okay, so on to five and six, uh, basically, uh, uh, again, uh, nothing too difficult. Basically, they're looking for the, fine, uh, the vector terminal. Um, this is the term they use. Yeah. Um, yeah, so term, yeah, I, there's a, yeah, be careful, it's not a vector, it's a terminal point. That's why I didn't put arrow, uh, show that it's a vector, right? So nonetheless, so I did that. So everyone understands, uh, just like what we did before, net uh, vector or just a vector equals to terminal minus initial, like final minus initial, right? So we know it's one, two, and then we know the initial point was, so V initial is one, one, right? That's where these came from. It's minus because it's always minus minus initial, right? So what do these two values have to be so that once you do all the deduction, you get that. So obviously this is going to be 2, 2 minus 1 is 1, this is going to be 3, 3 minus 1 is 2. So that's all there is. Uh, 6b, same idea, right? So, you know, 3 dimension again, but the same thing, right? So uh, the initial coordinate is 0, 2, 0, that's why I have negative 0, negative 2, negative 0, because I'm subtracting uh, with, in uh, with initial, right? So I don't know what the final is, but it will have to give me 1, 1, 3, because that is the vector coordinate, right? So, done, right? Okay, so let's move on to number 7. Okay, so um, we're, we're doing uh, 7 and, and I'll squeeze in 8 after. But uh, yeah, so the key concept we need to know is that, you know, let's say u equals to k, uh, sorry, u vector equals to kv vector. So basically, that k constant is going to determine the directionality, the direction, so to speak. So if it's positive, right, if the k is positive, then uh, both these vectors that are involved will have the same direction. If not, though, k will, if k equals negative, negative number, uh, you, uh, the, the, these two vectors will have opposite direction. So, not a groundbreaking concept, but, you know, just something that we should be crystal clear on before we start doing questions on the day. So, uh, for our first one, it says uh, same direction, which means uh, k is positive. Now, you can use any numbers you want, as long as it's positive. It could be 200, billion, whatever. But I prefer using 1, just to keep things simple, right? So, I bear that in mind. But, again, just as a big FYI, it could be any positive number, and it will work exactly the same, right? So, uh, let's see here. So, uh, this is the setup that I did. The weird thing is, though, didn't we say the initial vector was... Uh, initial vector was uh, this. Why is suddenly a point, right? So the reason why is because um, think of it this way. Uh, is there anything I could maybe erase? Okay, this should be pretty clear uh, and pretty easy to memorize. So I'm just gonna erase it just to make some space. But the whole point is basically you have a graph like this here, right? So basic, uh, so you have you have some kind of a vector, right? And then the final terminal, whatever it may be, it's gonna be like right here, for example, right? So basically, you're looking for this. So yes, I understand it. Is, it is a vector, but uh, but near the end of the vector, right? It's gonna reach four, two, and negative one, and the final terminal is. Uh, 305. So we can almost treat this as if it was an initial uh, point, right? So for no, so uh, that's that's how you're supposed to be understanding. Some people were a little bit confused when uh, they were asking me this question, but, you know, just so anyways, let's follow through. Um, so it's the same question idea as the earlier once we understand that concept. So that's why V so V terminal, the given uh, v initial is the initial vector, 
So what do you do? You just subtract them like you normally do. Uh, the k thing, right? So k would affect the initial vector, right? So k. So remember, uh, I erased it. So it will be the initial vector, and this will be the final vector, right? So that's why we put do times one for this guy. I didn't bother showing it because it's tedious and I was running out of space. But nonetheless, so three minus four, right? So final minus initial. Done, right? Uh, B, a little bit different. This time it's the opposite direction. So K is negative 1. So this is why it looks really weird. So it's going to be negative 1 times the initial vector, right? So that's why it's going to be 3 minus negative 4 because 4 uh, minus is neg uh, negative. 0 minus negative 2 by times negative 1. So that's going to be 2 and so on. Again, nothing too difficult, right? I'll show you what I did for number 8 just so that we're comfortable doing the subtractions but um, again uh, just well, we should be blissing through if this makes total sense to you all right so this is question eight and nine so eight uh, you know just what we talked about just uh, browse through it to make sure you have the same answer as I do uh, yeah that's that um, it's a little bit different for eight though because this time you're looking for terminal rather than initial right so because of yeah, so because of that, um, yeah, so we have to rearrange the equation a little bit, right? So we're still going to use the same thing, but now I'm going to isolate the terminal. So terminal equals the vector plus uh, V initial, right? And uh, as we've uh, explained earlier, uh, v, they give you the V initial, and then they give you the new vector. So we need to find the terminal. Done, right? So... Again, not too complicated. V same thing, except the V will be, vector will have negative one because it's the opposite direction. But everything else, the same thing applies. Uh, jump into number num, number nine. So uh, again, nothing too difficult, right? Uh, they have list of vector rules, but most of them are common sense. So I suggest that you still go through it, you know, just to be sure. But again, it's pretty self-explanatory, right? So for example, we have these three points. Uh, u plus v, uh, sorry, u plus w is going to be just, you know, u and w add them together, right? So, no, it's not a rocket science. Here, same thing, it's, uh, you know, 3 in front, right? So, it will be like v minus u, but u is 3 times as greater. So, you could figure out the whole thing first and then subtract, or you could just do what I did. doesn't really matter. So, 0 minus, where's u? 4, 4 times 3 is... 4 times negative 3 is, uh, 4 times, uh, wait, what am I saying? 3 times 4 is 12, and it's minus, yeah, again, same idea, C, a little bit more trickier, but uh, again, it's the same idea, right, so I'll just let you see through it, uh, this basic algebra, so hopefully you won't have any issue with it, I'll wrap up the D, and then add D for number 9, and then I'll keep going, okay, so this is uh, D, just to wrap that up, now again, nothing too complicated, I did 12D on purpose, I don't think you need to, but just to make sure that, you know, this is as hard as it gets, right? It's, it's, fi it's R5, so a lot of algebra, but again, but it's a simple algebra, right? You just make sure, so, anyways, this is what I did, uh, take a look, uh, you know, if, you know, makes sense, or if you want to give it a try on your own, uh, and, but uh, you should get the same answer as I do, so, uh, let's keep going. Oh, yeah, haha, <laughs> see, so, I knew I made a mistake, okay. So everything I did here, that's up to here. I didn't add the V yet, right? So if I were to add the V again, ah oh man, okay. So I'm just gonna skip steps for now because it's trivial to me, but yeah, it's a good call. So you, 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 I'm gonna lose marks like uh, in this ex section. I always lose marks in like the most stupidest section. Like so far, uh, that both of the tests uh, that we've done so far, um, I lost 5-10% of the entire test because of, oh, not, not 5, yeah, I lost, not 10, right? But I lost 5% of the entire mid uh, quizzes we've done so far. So quiz 1, I lost 5%. Quiz 2, I lost 5%. Simply because of the stupid elimination. Or, uh, and this is going to bite me again. So I'm going to be extra vigilant. Hopefully uh, that will get me, uh, well, actually, anything over 85, I'm okay with. So I don't really care if I get 100 or not, but nonetheless. Uh, so that's that. So that represents this, right? So just need to add the V. V and that. That's going to be 7. Negative 
four, uh, negative four, and then three, two, and negative two, negative three, and then zero. Make sure. Ah, see, I knew this was going to happen. One, negative two, so it's going to negative one. You were adding it, right? Yeah, we're adding it. Negative one, two, yeah, yeah, and uh, good to go. Okay, so now we can finally move on. Okay, so this is my solution for 13. Again, it looks really uh, complicated, but it's just, you know, how tedious it gets, right? So, you know, just a matter of how long it is. So, oh, Maria is going to lecture me. Oh, no, no. Uh, could have. Okay. I was actually thinking something else. So I just dissolved it and I just, uh, you know, from the left and right. And then I uh, simplify as much as possible until we have 3x and everything else to fill it in. So just algebraically found it like that. Um, yeah, so basically this plus this will have to give me that. So it's negative 25 plus 10 gives me negative 15. Just work backwards, right? But yeah, I just thought of something. Technically, I could have just subtracted negative 2w to that side. So that it becomes 3u plus v minus 4w. And then I could have done everything in one stroke. Yeah, that could have happened. But all right. So either way, whichever is comfortable for you, right? So, uh, but again, not a hard concept. So go just uh, browse through it and uh, let's move on. Okay, so this is 15. Uh, again, a very, uh, well, okay, so this is something uh, a little different, but nonetheless, it's not too bad. So basically, uh, you just need to remember there's a rule where vector equals to some scalar constant times a vector u, where if and only if these two are both vectors. So none of them are numbers or zero, right? So that, that, that's, the... oh, sorry, what I mean is like, well, I don't necessarily, this is implied. Mm, I, I actually, even the textbook doesn't say that. I think it's you should write like that, because if you have point and a point, point and point one and point two can't be parallel, right? It's a vector; they're parallel, right? So, mm, I mean, even in a general equation, that might work too. But uh, again, I'm since we're dealing with vectors, I think this is the right way to write. So. Uh, you have to have lines to have parallel, right? So, um, yeah, so that's that. So make sure none of them are zero. And, you know, we're assuming none of them are. So, because these are all vectors, right? If it, So, for example, C, if this wasn't a vector, if it, since it's a vector, I have six zeros, right? Rather than uh, if it was a point, then it would be just one zero. So, anyways. Um, yeah, so let's look at A. Uh, so this is my prize. So that is going to be my V and all the A, B, and C, they give you the U's, right? So you got to make sure that are the multiple. So let's look at this one. Negative 2 and then negative 2, 1, but this uh, a vector and then you have a vector right here, right? So it says 4, 2, 0, 6, 10, 2. So I just times all by B. Uh, I'll be a little bit hesitant about putting B in front of all the U. Actually, you could. Yeah, either way. But it doesn't matter. I just plugged it in because, you know, that's, that, that, that's how I did it. But nonetheless, so there's no B value where you can get that. So if I want 4 to become negative 2, I can do 1 half negative, right? But then if that's the case, then this, if I do the same thing here, that's going to be negative 1. Because 2 times 1 half negative is going to be negative 1. And so forth, right? So all these should be negative numbers, but it's not. So... There is no other B value that I can think of which will convert from this to this. So that's why we say it is not equal, and uh, therefore, and it, it is, uh, there's no B value where this could be equal, so we say it's not parallel, right? So let's look at B. This one, though, uh, let's compare. We can, negative 1 over 2, because sign, you know, it all fits, right? Uh, times that, negative 2, 1. 0 times anything is 0, so I ignored it, and so forth, right? Technically speaking, I shouldn't ignore it. I should always put 0, B, 2. Actually, yeah, let, let's do that just to be safe, right? So that should be 0, B, and 0, B, right? So play safe, right? Because, yeah, you're probably saying, hey, how come you're not times by B? Damn. 
dark, dark, dark bar, just go die, go kill yourself, that sort of thing. So, um, yeah, so, anyway, so I'll be a little bit cautious, um, too lazy to raise it because my pen is dying out, but parallel. Okay, next one, same thing. This uh, looks a little weird. I know it's a little redundant, zero times B, right? But zero times B will give me negative two. Alright, so question 15, so again, similar idea, but you know, uh, 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 well, similar idea, it's a little new, so I'll just go over it briefly. So, we have to be familiar, so basically, if we want to try to, try to figure out whether it's parallel or not, uh, we have just have to remember this rule, uh, v uh, vector equals to some scalar constant times another vector, and the only condition here, this means if and only if, right? Wait until you get to logics class, or if you guys are in there already, then you know you guys are having fun. So, anyway, so if that's the case, then you know just make sure both of these are vectors, like none of them are points, you know, or yeah. So, anywho, uh, by the way, uh, vector zero counts, right? It's not the magnitude that counts, you just have to make sure they're dot. I, I mean, it makes sense too, right? You can't have parallel if one of them is a point, right? And, you know, you can, if you have point and a point, you can't have a parallel of two points. It's got to be vectors. Vectors is the only way where things can be parallel or not. So, that's what we're doing. Let's look at A. So, they give you this, which is the U vector. Well, I mean, ah, I hate triviality. So, trivia shit and stuff like that. But anyways, so you have that times B, right? Some constant will give you this. Now, is this possible? I uh, couldn't find any B value where this could be possible because let's say, well, how do I make, make negative 2 to 4? So that's just, oh, times by negative 2. Great, right? But then I have to use the same, I have to apply to all other entries, right? 1 times negative 2 is going to be negative 2. Uh oh. No. 0, don't care because 0 times anything is 0. 3, right? It's not happening, right? All these should be negative. So it's not. So because of that, I said there's no B value where these two would ever be equal, therefore it cannot be parallel. B, however, it looks similar to this, but now with the proper signs, right? So because of that, so negative 2 times negative 2 is 4, negative 1 times negative 2 is two, negative 2, 0, we don't care, ne uh, 3 times neg uh, negative 2 is 6, so B equals negative 2, and I can make those two equal. Therefore, parallel. C looks a little weird, but same idea, right? So my V new one is going to be all zeros, right? Vector 0, right? So, I just said, well, I mean, if B equals to zero, zero times anything is going to be zero. So, it works. Parallel. So, yeah. So, again, emphasizing this point once again, it just has to be a vector, right? It's not that it can't be zero. It just can't be point zero. Vector zero is still a fair game. 